Hello and welcome back to Space Engine Days. In today's video, we're looking at something very useful and very fun to play around with. If you have not seen this already on the Steam Workshop page, this is simply called the Small Crane, which is this lovely thing sitting right behind me. So all it is is basically a gigantic arm that you can move around using your keyboard in order to lift up heavy objects and move it around to where it needs to go. You can attach this thing onto say a large ship, onto a large Land Rover. What I've done for this video is set up some magnetic plates below this to make sure it's nice and clamped down, disconnected from the P system, and while it should be all ready to go, pick up some warheads and sling them around. So what I'm going to do is now just move this away slightly, there we are, press F10, find the crane in spawn menu, there it is. This thing is 166 small blocks, using the heavy industry DLC pack, and well that's pretty much it, the information. So we're going to give this thing a thumbs up, move around towards, well this side right here, have a quick look around the outside, then I'll get into it, show you how it works, and I think that'll be that. So for this side of the small crane, this is what we get, and as a small cockpit, to well control this thing has been surrounded and encased by some armoured panels. At the very front here we do have a small little window for you to peer outside of and have a little bit of protection from any kind of well bits of dust or bits of dirt that end up getting flicked towards you. You also have a window right above you just in case you decide to accidentally drop something on top of you and all the way down to here there's a programmable block which is handling the scripts of how the arm is going to be controlled. Right at the very bottom is a battery to power this thing that we can ignore the magnetic plates because I added them on myself. Around towards the very back of this thing, here we go, so that's all we can see, moving all the way up the arm, and oh yes, it's just a bunch of steel blocks, we have a rotor on this section, then of course down to here, we'll have another rotor, and then a couple of hinges to come all the way down onto a magnet and plate, which is how we could do clamp it onto an object, and pull it around. We do have a handy little camera right above there, so we can easily see what we're doing, just in case we don't have the greatest view from the cockpit seat, and of course back over to the main body once again, there's another hinge to lift it up and down, and of course down in there, yet another rotor to spin it all the way around. Moving all the way up and say looking down this thing, not really too much else to talk about there. But well there's the top of the arm. And that's that for the outside. It's very short and very sweet, gets to the point. So I should grab on my character and get into the cockpit. So now what's going to happen is, put the free camera like so so we can actually see what's going on. I can now use W and S to move this up and move this down. I can then use C and spacebar to move it like so. So now move the arm all the way down towards the body, put it back into its standby phase, or just move it all the way up like so. So now it's ready to be extended all the way out to its maximum length to maybe pick up something that's just out of your reach. So in first person view, this is what it looks like, just moving around there, that's lifting up and lifting down, then moving the arm all the way backwards, moving it all the way forward. Just a very nice little system that you could have a bit of fun with. You could even make a small little mini game with it, and say play hot potato with a friend with a warhead, and have them on a set timer, and you've got to move them from one place to another before they explode. Yes, as for actually rotating this, here we go, all the way around. And then we're just going to move it all the way back. You can do a full 360, but that's going to take quite some time. And now all that's left to do is for me to bring up the HUD, enter the camera, here we are. And now we've got a few warheads to choose from to pick them up and turn around towards the back of this thing. So I feel like going for this one right here. So all I've got to do now is say lift this all the way down and move the arm all the way around. Here goes, gonna get a little bit awkward from this camera, but now moving straight towards this, it might be just out of range of the actual arm itself. Come on, you can do this all the way across. I have a feeling that is now completely out of range. Bring the free camera all the way over, yes it is. Look at that, he is just out of there. But now coming back into this, into the camera. It's now time for me to move this all the way back and come around towards the one that was a little bit closer. So spinning it all the way around, I kind of lost where the warhead has gone, but it looks like I have accidentally, or unintendedly, picked it up. There we are, that's actually a pretty good shot by me. Although I'm not too happy with how it's actually been attached onto that. That will have to do. To a third person camera, what we'll do now is take over this once again. And I can just spin this all the way around, lift this all the way up, move all the way down. And I can just swing it all the way around. Of course you can speed this up if you want to, but that's on your head if you want to do it. Reline the camera. There we go. Now I can very gently, very, very gently, just move this all the way out. And put it down to the ground, unlock it. And now I can lift it all the way back up and put it back to how it was. It is a little bit awkward using this from a third person view because the controls to realign with how the arm is moving. But I think I did a pretty good job at well demonstrating how this works. But yes, that is all this does. 
And well, I thought it'd be a bit of fun for people to play around with in your world. And it could prove a bit of use, like I said, if you put this onto the back of a large ship, put this in a cargo hold to move loose containers around, or even just organize a base. That's that for this video. There's nothing else to talk about. Very self explanatory of what it does. There'll be a link to it in the description below to download and play around yourself. I highly recommend you do. I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Bye bye.